Hi, my name's Tom Dick. I'm a math professor and a math advisor for Texas Instruments. And this video is part of the TI and Focus AP Calculus series. We're going to use the TI Inspire to do some graphical exploration of Maclaurin polynomials in series. All right, let's get started. So I'm opening up a graphing window. And we're going to use as an example a function in Maclaurin series that was given in question BC number 6 from the 2018 AP exam. The function was the natural log of the quantity 1 plus x. So I'm going to enter that as f1 and here we've got the graph of it. And now I'm going to enter a general Taylor polynomial about x equals 0. And these Taylor polynomials also go under the name of Maclaurin polynomials. It's a Taylor polynomial about the specific point x equals 0. So for f2 of x, I'm entering Taylor of, we'll use f1 of x as our function, and the variable in play is x, and for a degree, I'm going to enter a general parameter n. And then, as I said, the point around which we'll expand is 0. Now, as soon as I enter that, it detects the n and says, would you like to create a slider for that? We'll say yes. And then we automatically have a slider set up for n. I'll move that up here out of the way. And Let's go ahead and uh, change the settings for this slider to what we want. So I'll pull up the settings and we'll start out uh, with a minimum value of 1 and we'll, let's see, let's uh, go through a healthy set of degrees. We'll go all the way from 1 to say 12. So we can look at a lot of different Maclaurin polynomials that way. Step size, we'll go in the uh, integer steps. So we'll do step size of 1. And we'll just make it a minimized slider so it doesn't take up much room. And there we go. We've got a little clicker slider now. And I'm going to move this label for our Taylor polynomial over here, a little bit out of the way. And you can see what we have right now is a first degree Maclaurin polynomial. And now I start to increase the degree one at a time and you can see that these Maclaurin polynomials to the left of zero they stay on top or above our function uh, but they flip back up and down above and below the function for positive x's. Now notice that the uh, convergence or fit is really bad as soon as you get to the right of one uh, and that doesn't get any better. In fact, if anything, it almost gets worse. So the fit is really good between negative 1 and 1, uh, but very poor outside of that. Not surprisingly, the radius of convergence around that center point of 0 is 1. Now I'm returning the uh, clicker value all the way down to n equals 1 again. And the next thing we're going to do is take a look at a related function. So I'm going back to my uh, function entry line and I'm going to alter f1 of x now. I'm going to edit it to be now x times the natural log of the quantity 1 plus x over 3. Okay. Now f2 of x is still defined in terms of f1, so we're automatically set up and ready to go to investigate this new function. Alright, so there's the labels for f1 and f2, and now I'm increasing the degree of my Maclaurin polynomials, and we can see that there's now a wider interval of good fit here. And in fact, the radius of convergence now is 3. And that's not unrelated at all to the fact that we composed um, our original function with x over 3. Now BC problem 6 
actually asked for an analysis of the error between the fourth degree polynomial and this function at the value x equal 2. We're not going to do that analysis here, but we will take at least a graphical look. So we'd like to get a little bit be better window to take a look at this. And I'm going to use for x min and x max negative 3 and 3. Taking into account we could see that the uh, interval of convergence has a radius of 3. And I'll change x y min to negative 2, y max to positive 2, x scale and y scale to 1. And there's a little bit nicer graph. And really all I'd like to do is since we have this nice graph here, is actually take a look at the difference in the values between the function and the Taylor polynomial at x equal 2. I'll bring up the trace, we'll do a trace all, and there we get a quick look and a comparison of the two values. f1 was our function, it has a value approximately 1.02, and our fourth degree polynomial has a value of 1.09 at 2. Well, that winds up this video. For more resources like these, please see education.ti.com.